electrocuted? <sighs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're back at it again with another Pinterest hacks tested video. But this one's a little different. The past few Pinterest hacks we've done, it's all about beauty. All of the hacks were beauty related, but this one is the Christmas edition. <laughs> excited to do this video because we've never done this before. This is the first time we're doing this and I'm very excited because I found a ton of Christmas Pinterest hacks. So I've gathered them and put together the hacks that I really want to try with you guys in this video. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy these types of videos. I know a lot of you like my Pinterest hacks video and also give it a big thumbs up anyway because it's Christmas. If you love Christmas and everybody loves Christmas so you're gonna have to thumbs it up. You're gonna have to like it because you don't want to be the Christmas hater. You know, you, you just don't. Don't do it. So just, just keep it a thumbs up. Also, a big announcement: we hit two million subscribers on this channel. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for two million subscribers. I can't believe it. I can't believe that two million people click that subscribe button and joined our family. I just. <laughs> I actually filmed my reaction over on my second channel. So if you guys want to see how I reacted when we hit 2 million subscribers, I'm going to link that down below. Also, I'm doing Vlogmas on my second channel where I film every single day all the way up to Christmas Day. So if you guys want to keep up with those vlogs, I'm going to link it down below. And I think that's officially it for our intro. Do I have anything else to announce? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And without further ado, let's do this. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so the first Christmas Pinterest hack we are going to test out is... Uh, hold on. We're gonna try making a Christmas sweater for my coffee mug because coffee mugs need Christmas sweaters too, am I right? They need to be warm too for the holidays. So we're gonna remove this because this is not very Christmassy. So we're gonna undress you. Pinterest is telling me that all I need for this one are some socks, scissors, and your coffee mug. <laughs> I don't want to cut you guys, but I have to, okay? I'm so sorry. Okay, who's gonna go first? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by his toe. If you holler, let it go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. <laughs> All right, let's size it up and see where we should cut it. Maybe right here. I'm just, I'm just gonna eyeball it and just kind of wing it and go from there. Ah, here it is. It's happening. There's no turning back. <gasps> we did it! All right, here goes. Uh, uh, come on, come on. Wow, I definitely did a really crappy job because as you guys can see, that is definitely uneven, but I mean, that that's pretty cute. This is definitely something I would buy for sure. I actually don't mind it looking like this because it's kind of folding itself. Can you guys see that? I am actually so impressed. Now I want to cut up all of my Christmas socks and just pimp out all of my coffee mugs because this is, this is legit. <gasps> Should we do another one? I have another mug right here that we can dress up. Sock number two, I'm so sorry. <sighs> oh my gosh, you guys, this one is even cuter because <laughs> This one says bottoms up and Santa's right there going inside the chimney. Oh! And then at the bottom, I can just kind of lift this a little bit and then it just kind of folds itself. Best idea ever. Thank you, Pinterest. Thank you. So I'm pretty sure this goes without saying that this Christmas Pinterest hack is two big thumbs up. I give it two big thumbs up. This is definitely a really genius idea. Whoever thought of this is genius. It's simple, easy, and it's super cute. So the next one is using a paper towel holder to keep these ribbons, these ribbons right here, neat and organized. So we all know that these ribbons, whenever, whenever you're gift wrapping, they're just kind of all over the place. You're always just having to hold one end with your tree and you're having to like cut it with your scissors and it, it's a pain, it's a pain. So Pinterest is saying that you can use the paper towel holder to keep them in place. The one I have is a little different because it already comes with something in the middle, but if you didn't have this, then Pinterest said that this is gonna come in handy. So let's test it out. So I have all of my ribbons right here in my paper towel holder. One, two, three, four, five. So here is what mine looks like and it's definitely not, 
It's definitely not as glamorous as the photo I'm seeing on Pinterest. I feel like the photo is expectations and this is reality. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh, I'm making it worse. It definitely keeps the ribbons all in the same place and you're not having to lose the ribbons every two seconds, but it's not, it doesn't look like the Pinterest photo and it's not, it's definitely not as organized because if I want the white one, I'd have to, you know, pull this all the way up and then I can get to, oh, there, wait, nope then I can get to the white one. So, I don't know. Uh... So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a nay. I give this one a thumbs down because it doesn't look like the Pinterest photo. I mean, this is just way too messy for my liking. Oh my gosh, I just effed it up even more. All right, next hack we are testing out. We're using toilet paper rolls and using this to cuff and save our wrapping papers from unrolling. And we all know how much of a pain in the butt that is. So we're gonna test out and see if it's an actual legit hack. So let, let's test it out. Pinterest said to remove any excess toilet paper. And then we are going to cut this in the middle. Oh. All right, it is cut, people. It is cut open. Let's get our wrapping paper. See, it's it's all over the place already, and we don't want that. Here goes. You just put it in, in there. Is that good? Works for me. Hold on, hold on. So I'm still gonna give this a yay. This is a thumbs up for me because it still works. It's definitely holding it together, but it just has to lay down. As long as you don't have it up, oh wait, oh no. As long as you don't have it standing, then you you, you should be good. Yep, you should be good. So now we are on to our next Christmas Pinterest hack, and the next one is using coffee filters to make Christmas tree decor. So I thought I'd give it a shot, and also this was really cheap. I got this for about a dollar and it looks really cute. There's really no specific instructions on how to do this, so I'm just gonna wing it. So coffee filter number one, two, three, four. Okay, we're gonna have to do a take two because <laughs> this is what it's starting to look like. It's definitely not looking like a Christmas tree. Oh gosh, oh gosh. I mean, we're getting somewhere, right? I'm gonna put it here so that we can kind of get a better grip on it. I feel like we're... We're making progress, that's for sure. Oh, 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 we are falling. I, I think that we need to... <laughs> Do not fail me, coffee filters! Oh, oh no! <sighs> what did they do in this photo? It looks amazing. And it looks like it was going to be really easy, but it's actually not, unless they're cheating and they're not showing the other side of the Christmas tree. All right, I'm done with it, and I don't think you guys are ready to see this. Are you ready? Da -da -da -da. So here is what mine looks like. I ended up giving it a star. So I don't think mine looks that terrible, but it doesn't look like the Pinterest photo. So I'm gonna give this one a yay nay. So it's like in between, it did work, but not really, but it worked. All right, so the next hack we are testing out is using candy canes as place card holders. And I just thought it was a super cute idea, so I wanted to test it out myself. So here are my candy canes, and I am actually, <laughs> since I'm just, lazy as F. I'm gonna try and see if we can do this with just scotch tape. On Pinterest it says to use a glue gun. I mean, I have a glue gun. I just, I'm just lazy and I don't wanna use it. So we're gonna see if we can pull this off with just scotch tape. So we are going to need two candy canes. So it's saying to glue the first two first and then add the third candy cane. So let's do that. Here goes candy canes together. Oh no, I think I'm doing a really terrible job. But that's okay, because we're gonna put a ribbon there and that's we're not gonna notice that. All right, these are together and now we are going to add the third candy cane on the back end side. Third candy cane is in there and let's test it out to see if it's going to stand up on its own. Please don't fail me, candy canes. <gasps> Hallelujah! So now that it's standing up, we're gonna add the ribbon to, you know, hide that ratchet scotch tape. There you go. This is seriously the cutest thing ever. Oh my gosh. All right, so now let's add the name plate. <gasps> 
You guys, this is the best hack ever. I think this is actually my favorite out of the ones we just did. And it was super easy. We didn't even have to use a glue gun. Boom, I just made up my own hack. Yup, this is an original hack right here. That's hard hack. Although I'm pretty sure someone else have figured this out already. <laughs> this is how it looks like when it's standing on its own and it's so freaking cute. Whoever thought of this, slow clap. Genius. Woo! All right, so the next Christmas Pinterest hack we are testing is using egg cartons to store smaller ornaments. So every year I have this problem where I never know how and where to store my ornaments. They're always just kind of flying around the place. I'm always having to put them in like these boxes and they end up breaking and it's it's a, it's a mess. So I'm 95% sure that this is going to work, but we're gonna test it out anyway to see if it's 100% legit. So I have my carton egg right here and it's filled with a bunch of eggs. So we're just gonna throw this out because because we don't need it. So let's just, let's just, oh. Did you actually think I was gonna throw it and waste the eggs? Mm. I have these baby ornaments that, again, I never know what to do with these because they're so small and I always end up losing them or cracking them because they're too small and they're getting smushed by the other ornaments. So, all right, let's test out this hat. Boom, yes. And another one, and another one, and another one. And last but not least, boom. So now let's close it and see. Genius. So as you guys can see, they are in there. I was able to close it and they're just there sitting comfortably. And for the next year, I can bust out my egg carton and there they are. They'll be there, uncracked, perfectly positioned. Genius, just genius. All right, you guys, so that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Be sure to come back in a few days for a brand new video. And also, again, I'm doing Vlogmas over on my second channel. So if you wanna join in and all the fun, again, link down below. And that's officially it. I love you guys so, so much. Have an amazing day and I'll see you soon. Mwah. Mwah, 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 mwah.